Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. This reading will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with. What are their energies towards you? What are their thoughts, feelings about you? And what are their intentions towards you as well? And let's just jump right in. For Pisces, spirits, angels, guides. What messages do you have for Pisces? Hmm. In love. What's the overall energy for Pisces in love? This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Can I get another one? What's the overall energy for Pisces? We have, you deserve love. You are lovable. Okay, I love that energy. Let's get some more information. I'm using my brand new Stellar Energy Oracle deck. I am loving using this. It's available for sale now, so you can get to it um, with the, if I could talk. <laughs> it's linked down below in the description box if you're interested. <laughs> I can't talk. For Pisces, please, Spirit. What's the overall energy here? surrounding this connection or whatever is coming their way in love. For Pisces. Oh. You got burdened heart is the first card out. Obligations, burdens, difficulty, burdens weigh heavy on the heart. What else for Pisces? the energy in this connection tied up interesting trapped stuck burdened your feelings trapped in a situation and are looking for a way out this is very interesting energy now this could be your energy or your person's energy can I get one more please for Pisces okay standing firm you are standing firm against any challenge courage Resistance, oops, sorry, I'm a mess today. Okay, so obviously burdens, obligations, feeling trapped, stuck, all that good stuff. Um, but I don't know if this is like, I'm just picking up like someone who's holding something in and is being kind of controlled by that um, and probably needs to have courage and be strong and face whatever it is that's holding them back but we'll see we'll see as we move on here let's get into the tarot spirits angels guides for pisces please what messages do you have for pisces what messages do you have for pisces please and love so let's see what we get here Ace of Swords, communication, clarity. We have the hangman with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. So there's that stuck energy with the hangman. And with the Wheel of Fortune reversed, this could be because it's not the right time or things are just not really working out the way that someone hoped. Maybe it feels like, you know, no matter what they do, they can't get out of a situation. We'll see. Ace of Pentacles reverse. Interesting. Some sort of lost opportunity. Um, this could be financial difficulty. A broken commitment. The overall energy here is the Six of Pentacles reverse. So this is at the bottom of the deck. So there's something here that's the burden is kind of tipping the scales, I feel. Whatever the situation is, um, that you or someone else is dealing with. Um, I feel like there's there's a lack of balance. Let's clarify these. I'm like so curious. For Pisces. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more for Pisces. What do we need to know? 
give us some insight into these energies for Pisces. Six of Pentacles reverse. What is this about? Why is this the overall energy here? Why is the Six of Pentacles reverse? Queen of Wands reverse. Nine of Wands. Okay, there's the there's kind of like the the Nine of Wands is someone who is defensive, guarded. Um, they've been through a lot. They're not giving up, but they've been they they're exhausted. They have had a lot to carry or deal with. Um, and then the Queen of Wands reverse, this is someone that's not not the nicest person. Um, typically they have a temper or argumentative, um, jump into things, they want what they want, it doesn't matter who they um, inconvenience, they tend to like attention or crave attention, we'll see. Maybe this person, maybe this is someone that you're dealing with, Pisces, or your person's dealing with, that is causing um, difficulty. I'm also picking up that some of you, some of the Pisces watching, you're very upset at your person because they've put you through a lot. That's not for everyone, but I am getting that for that. There's a group here that you feel like you deserve more. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles reverse. Because something is not fair. Wow, we got the tower. Unexpected shakeup. Something must have happened here. Tell me about this tower. Tell me more, please, about this tower. Ten of Wands. So there's that burden. This tower is related to a burden. What's this? Seven of Swords. Um... Ooh, okay. Someone, okay, so this is what I'm getting. The person that you're dealing with, Pisces. They must have done something. Or some word, something was said or something happened in your connection that has weighed it down. It could be deception. It could be that someone had a wandering eye. It could be that someone was sneaking around, not being honest with you about something. Um, perhaps they were trying to get out of a difficult situation and they didn't plan or, or, or um, do it the right way. And that's why this Queen of Wands is reversed. Something happened here. It's going to be different for all of you. Um, this could be that you cost a tower and it was necessary because things were not fair to you in some way. Or this person, their actions caused a tower. Very interesting. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. What's this Ace of Swords about? The Hierophant, Taurus energy. This is commitment, contracts. This could be um, someone talking about what they value, what, what's important to them. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords. Justice, yeah. So this could be a conversation that takes place or has already taken place where someone wants to talk about a commitment or the rebalancing of a situation doing the right thing tell me more about the ace of swords okay i got two six of wands two of cups yep i feel like someone wants to either make it up to you or they want success in a connection they want to make things right and they're going to do it by talking to you if this is not someone talking to you they're getting clarity about what they want um, for their life here. I feel like this is someone, I have the High Priestess reversed, someone that's speaking up. Maybe this is not something that has been talked about just yet. Um, or perhaps someone, again, is is waking up to this idea, to this new urge or want or need, whatever the case may be. 
this is Libra energy here with the Justice card. This is rebalancing whatever this was with the Six of Pentacles reversed. But then we have the Hangman with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Tell me about this Hangman with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Why is the Hangman with the Wheel of Fortune reverse? Knight of Pentacles reverse. Extremely slow movement. The star reverse. Aquarius energy. And the king of wands. So this is someone that wants to go after something, wants to make something happen. I have the magician reverse at the bottom of the deck and the nine of cups exactly. So this is someone that wants, has a wish, uh, wants emotional fulfillment, wants to be happy, but cannot manifest it. They are, they're slow down, literally, with the Knight of Pentacles reverse. This King of Wands, typically they want to jump in, do what needs to be done, take action. Um, the Star Reverse, Aquarius Energy, this Star Reverse is telling me that someone, it, it's almost like things are too slow for them. They're losing hope, losing faith. Uh, maybe, you know, they're dragging their feet because of other obstacles, possibly financial, or perhaps they are not moving quickly enough even though the desire is there they're not moving quickly enough interesting i just had the ten of pentacles with the ace of swords pop up tell me more about this hangman the king of swords so this is someone that's planning thinking knows what they want to maybe communicate but they're not actually taking action why is the hangman here Knight of Cups reverse. Okay, I have the Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. So this is someone who is heartbroken or has broken someone's heart, has disappointed someone. There's regrets. And that's keeping them stuck. Someone's regret or guilt, someone's mistake, I feel. Um, it's This is all they're thinking about. I feel like someone worries that they're not going to be successful, that things are not going to manifest the way that they hoped. This could be somebody that um, all they can do is talk. They can't really act or take any, uh, make any uh, like um, decisions that bring about change. Why is the Ace of Pentacles reversed? Tell me if this is resonating for you in the comments, uh, Pisces. I feel like there is two groups of you here. Why is the Ace of Pentacles reversed? Seven of Pentacles investment um doubt someone having that's that doubt of something actually playing out actually working out why is ace of pentacles reverse high priestess reverse can you get one more for the ace of pentacles reverse i feel like there's a group of you yeah page of wands reverse there's a group of you that are standing firm against this person because even though this is someone that you really want to be with, you worry that it's going to end up the same way or not really work out. Um, or this is your person that feels like something's not going to work out between you. I feel like with the Page of Wands reverse, it's almost like this person thinks once they reveal something to you or open up to you, um, it's like they're not going to be able to really move like the page of wands reverse is someone who takes two steps forward one step back two steps forward one step back um they're jumping in and out of things they can't really commit to a task to complete it um they might even make mistakes because they're not really looking where they're going um so again i'm getting the sense of someone who you know, they're going to open up, they're going to reveal how they feel, and then they're not really going to be able to do anything about it. And that's exactly what someone expected. And then for others of you, I feel like you're just not going to let this move forward because you can't trust where this is going or something happened to, to burden this connection. This burden could be that someone's carrying baggage from the past, from what happened in the past. It could be that there's too much unsaid. Um, too much like trust issues between you or you know, there's there's fear of loyalty or fear of being hurt All of that can cause baggage. I feel like there is potential here 
Six of Wands, Two of Cups, Justice, Hierophant, Ace of Swords. There's potential here for a new beginning, for new clarity. But there's also like this break that's being put on things. Tell me about this Page of Wands reverse. Why is the Page of Wands reverse? Queen of Cups, there's a lot of love, appreciation. Why is the Page of Wands reverse? Nine of Cups. And then I have the Wheel of Fortune reverse again. So I feel like someone's just getting in their own. Their fear is tying them up. Perhaps they're tied up somewhere, keeping them from from what they truly love or value. This could be that you are no, you don't want to talk to them. Maybe you've blocked communication, some of you. But I don't know. I feel like this is someone who the intention is there to have. It's, it's like they know what they love. They know what would make them happy. But it's like that's there's no follow through which is very strange. Two of Pentacles, Reverse, and Temperance. This could be a timing issue, Sagittarius with the Temperance. But what I'm getting is like, there's something that's, someone has to give something up in order to have the balance, the harmony, the coming together that they so desperately want. Perhaps timing is an issue between you. Let's see. What's challenging or blocking this connection? Spirit for Pisces and this other person. What's challenging or blocking this connection? So tell me more about what's challenging or blocking this connection specifically here. What are the challenges or the blocks to this connection, Spirit? Nine of Cups. Okay, so someone's wish again. Uh, someone's wish fulfillment um, someone's emotional satisfaction is blocked why uh what else what are the challenges or the blocks to this connection challenges or blocks queen of swords communication this could be somebody that's cold um hard to read no bs why are why um why is the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Swords a challenge or a block? Why are these two a challenge or a block? It could just be open and honest communication about what truly makes someone fulfilled. It could be that someone cannot get their wish granted because they're not really communicating. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? I feel like again okay so some of you could be dealing with someone that's already in a family situation or tied up in family uh obligations um this could be somebody that because i have the seven of swords in the tower so i think something has definitely happened that wasn't the right thing to do but i'm also picking up it's almost like um Long-term stability, long-term commitment um, is a challenge here. Regardless of what the reason is, uh, there's potential for something that could last. There's potential for something here that could lead to emotional fulfillment. But I feel like this Ace of Swords, this Queen of Swords, there's something important that needs to be like out in the open or someone needs to clear the air in order to have this progress. And I feel it's almost like someone's scared to, to communicate. Someone is probably not, because they need to have courage to do something here with standing firm. They need to, to be strong. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. Four of Swords. Yeah, there's quiet lack of action, lack of communication with the Ace of Wands here. So it's almost like someone's thinking about a new beginning, but not really doing anything about it. And that's the biggest challenge here. Hmm. So any advice? I'm using my Stellar Guidance deck. Any advice for Pisces? Is there any advice or messages for Pisces? Any guidance or messages for Pisces, please?
keep calm and carry on keep going <laughs> okay and then bottom of the deck we have trust interesting abundance right after that keep calm and carry on keep going trust so it's almost like spirit is saying no matter where you're no matter where you're headed pisces what i'm getting here is spirit is saying trust in in this journey that i have you on in this path that i have you on this could also be your person i feel like if this is someone that needs to go on a journey of some sort or leave a situation um head to something different i feel like spirit is saying don't look back um don't give up and turn around keep going right trust in what's meant for you because there's abundance at the other end of it 